Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore classes. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting. Look at the question on the board. Evaluate 4% over 8%. You are having 4 options from where you need to select the correct one. This question is actually very simple and usually examiners give in competitive exams to check the understanding of the concepts and many students do mistake here. You please try out doing this question and let us see whether your understanding is correct or not. So let us start the video. 4% divided by 8%. First of all, let me make you clear. 4% means 4 divided by 100. Because we know that when we remove percent sign, 100 comes in the denominator. Same way 8% is there. That means it becomes 8 over 100. Now what will happen? This 100 and 100, they are going to be cancelled. And what are we left with? We are left with only 4 over 8. I am writing here. We are left with only 4 over 8. And when you continue doing this question further, we get 1 over 2. Right? Looking at 1 over 2, Many people think that B option is the correct option. But dear, do remember, this is only 1 over 2. This is not 1 over 2 percent. That means after simplification of 4 percent over 8 percent, I am getting a simple fraction. Now come back to the percentage concept. Because we have 4 options where everywhere percent sign is there. That means I need to recall the concept of converting a fraction into percent. Now how to convert a fraction into percent? I am having 1 over 2. If 1 over 2 is the fraction, you just need to multiply it by 100% to get the answer in percentages. Now this 102, if you reduce to the lowest form, you simplify them, you are getting 50 and obviously percent sign along with it. So according to the options when you are going to do, C option is the correct option. Final answer is 50%. So do remember, there is no question of arguing here that 1 over 2 is correct. I know it is correct. But when in exam you are having 4 options out of that you need to select, then having understanding up to 1 over 2 is not sufficient. We will have to convert it into percent so that we can select the correct option. I hope you are clear. Now I am giving, giving you one question for practice. Let us suppose you have 100% over 25%. Okay. 100% over 25% and you need to find its answer in percent only. I have written a percent sign also. Blank is there which you need to fill. Thank you so much for watching the video.